back to the channel, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Bobito. Is that him hiding behind the AMG sign? Uh, I don't think so. He's not here with us, folks. You're stuck with me, Ben Barber. And we're up here with our friends of Music City Mercedes-Benz, otherwise known as Mercedes-Benz of Music City. These guys, again, are a regular part of what we're doing, and we are super excited that they have brought to the table a bunch, as you can see, of amazing Mercedes for us to check out. Now today, we've got what mid-size crossover-y suv -y, I don't, they've created so many different kinds of cars now, so there, there's what it looks like. I would say it drives like a car and has a uh, SUV stance, I guess. Um, this is, and I'm just going to read it off the car because it has so many names. This is a 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLC 43. So it has the AMG uh, kit on it. So what, it's got a twin turbo V6 motor, 385 horsepower, 384-ish foot-pounds of torque. So folks, it has got some powers, uh, zero to 60 in under five seconds. So uh, definitely a quick little, again, SUV crossover -y kind of a car. This one actually comes with the AMG Studio package, which pretty much blacks out most everything. So the roof rails are blacked out. This whole front bumper, other than the, excuse me, Mercedes Triangle is blacked out. So like all the trim and then run down the roof rails up top of the car. Uh, and then again, on the rear of the exterior package, kind of got all this and black chrome tips. Um, this thing, as you can kind of see, so definitely uh, totally blacked out. I think first thing someone would probably do would be to uh, mess with those windows, the front windows, get those things blacked out. But man, this thing looks pretty menacing, I'll be honest. Uh, I love the wheels. Like the total look on this, if you haven't seen one of these, I'm kind of surprised. I really do like, I really do like the look of this car. And again, it's got the blacked out trim all the way down and all the way around the front of the vehicle now let's do what we normally do we'll start in the rear of the vehicle kind of get ourselves inside here you can see this thing is brand new so all the floor mats are still on the ground you'll see up front there's some cardboard down which you know doesn't really present nicely on camera but you know people are moving this thing around they don't want to get the floorboard dirty um, so here's your rear row your rear passenger seat area or rear uh, cargo area again plenty of room i am a big fan of pressing buttons and seeing what things do oh there we go so you press the front of it lifts up ton of storage look at this a bunch of extra storage which is really kind of cool uh these seats do fold down but i'm not going to mess with that today uh because you know every time i press the seat fold down button something happens that shouldn't happen uh, as we'll kind of make our way into the back we'll see these door cards are nice i like the red stitching kind of got this aluminum look trim here uh, and then again, you can see red stitching throughout down, not just running across the top like some cars. They've got a veined out double stitching here. Really like the feel of this. Really so, whoa, that's, that's soft, folks. That is real soft. Uh, as you make your way in, get our cup holder out. As you can see, it's not much of a sloucher, which is nice. Um, I do like the again with the double stitching really nice look how it kind of tears off into the seat there to create another panel here it's really really nice and it feels good to the touch again you've got a got the suede -ish inserts with leather uh, i'm gonna go ahead and climb in this back seat area to show you guys it's kind of got the dual roof there's one there there's one there uh, and then the camera looks like it's see-through and it is but definitely not as much as the camera is making it out to be so it is definitely covered uh and you're not going to get beat up with some you can kind of see that you can see through it there but i promise you when you're driving down the road the sun is blocked quite well all right so we'll start back here here is where your ac vents are you can go up or down we're going to turn them down a little bit really like the look of these vents uh, kind of again with the throwback to the old school uh, way of if you go back and look at the Mercedes of the 70s and 60s they have that 
they have this look as well for the air vents you can kind of see this look um, as you kind of look at this this is kind of a beautiful waterfall it's a kind of carbon fiber <laughs> again that's one of the AMG packages but wow that is such a beautiful look um, look at that <laughs> such that looks so cool if you ask me uh, now Merck does have a, a couple different setups for their interiors uh, this some of the ones you got this whole glass panel that goes across um, I do I prefer either one honestly uh, I do like the look of this screen kind of hanging up here uh, that is my own personal taste uh, man this thing is super clean uh, one of the extra packages that this came with was this uh, Napa steering wheel we'll climb into the front here momentarily to check that out a little bit closer uh, but just look from back here I'm sitting you can see there's plenty of foot room there I've got plenty of leg room here one of the things I like about Mercedes and they've been doing this for years nothing new but you can kind of see that they've built in an area for your knees to at least comfortably get in there uh, really kind of cool huge storage area on the side of the vehicle here for or on the door cards here for cups and you know if you got kids you already know it's gonna be full of trash <laughs> uh, no soft clothes as we just noticed uh, make our way around I think the only thing that catches my eye that's a little different and maybe they just did it for a bit of a styling cue you can see these wheels are blacked out and then there's just a little bit of a polished five star ish kind of built into that and that matches this I guess but I personally don't like chrome, so I would just eliminate that. I think if you made the wheels black, it would be good. But even with this strip on there, I think it looks great. Um, make our way into the main passenger compartment. You can see door card again with the amazing stitching throughout. Jeez, there's even more storage up here, which is kind of crazy. Even more storage if you need it. Two full-size cups and a purse, I guess, if you want to. One thing I love about Mercedes is they do put the seat controls on the door so that you can get into the vehicle pretty easily. I'm going to go ahead and slide this seat all the way back uh, so we can get a better view. I definitely don't need that much room to drive. You, the seating position you saw me in moments ago was my seating position. Oh, wow, I'm really far back. I can barely reach the pedals now. Uh, let's go ahead and get a little zoom out going all right so here's our fancy steering wheel that was definitely an upgrade uh, you've got the red racing strip here and then again the napa leather all the way around man it's really fancy again the stitching really really nice i mean like this steering wheel looks like you a kind of steering wheel that you'd find in a uh, high-end sports car <laughs> uh, or even a supercar and yes folks it's in a mid-size suv now this thing does have some power um so I will, I will go ahead and give it that. Um, but we'll just kind of show some brief functionality here. Uh, I like the touch and feel of all of these uh, buttons. They, they're kind of throughout. Uh, you can kind of hear a little click. And then this, as you can see my screen, this is kind of like a touch screen setup. Again, you can see how it's cycling through there. Uh, we'll go to the performance. And then, boom, it just kind of shows you that's pretty cool your boost up top there um, and then, you know I think overall let's see if we can get to navigation yeah so you can put navigation right straight straight down the middle uh, you know kind of keep yourself where you're going and or your direction of travel which is nice um, I really really like um, kind of the overall look and feel of everything we're touching and seeing here it really that's nice uh, it, you know all the way down to like your volume scroll feels real nice the nice aluminum ish or whatever um, so you can kind of see here we've got the individual we've got slippery comfort and sport mode um, again that's kind of chosen through here and then uh, let's see yeah you've got your suspension that you can kind of click into uh, sportier mode um, and again it's all very simple and this is kind of a touchpad uh, it does kind of have the haptic touch and this is in control of this now I believe yes this is still touchscreen uh, which is cool um, but like as a general theory you are it's kind of far away right so you're more than likely going to be using this touchpad um, it's 
functions really well, uh, which is really kind of cool. This does have the loud exhaust button, but man, it sure is hard to tell a difference inside the vehicle. Um, just as a quick connector here, we'll look in here. Again, we got our couple keys kind of hanging out in here, but there's a wireless charging pad up here, and then you got two cup holders. Um, the one thing I feel like this car is missing, and maybe it's here and I just can't see it, uh, is the underglow lighting. I believe it does go underneath here. It's just kind of hard to see during the day. Um, but like overall, folks, I would say, you know, this is definitely one of those cars that you don't probably, maybe not know about, but it is here uh, and available at the Mercedes dealer. And they have got a bunch of cameras to help you out. All of the cameras, if you're wondering, all of them. <laughs> all the way around I mean it is crazy if you really need to see uh, <laughs> you know really you really can get the full if you're not familiar with how these cameras are working nowadays folks like it's overkill all you gotta do is turn your head and look and you can see there's not a car there <laughs> or there is a car there uh, so yeah do us all a favor and pay attention to the car when you're driving <laughs> not so much the uh, cameras <laughs> so well folks this has just been a nice quick check-in with our friends up here uh, Mercedes-Benz in Music City this is again a 2022 GLC 43 it is the AMG version it does have the AMG studio uh, spec on it which blacks it all out give you gives you the nicer steering wheel and a couple other things uh really nice ride i mean it is expensive it is a mercedes but if you're interested in one of these you know come up come up to mercedes benz in music city now if you're wondering you've probably been hearing vehicles and large trucks and stuff this is the interstate 40 right here this is the Brawley parkway exit right here and you pretty much have to go like you're going to hotel preston if you want to get to mercedes of music city so come down here holler at these folks their information is on the screen as far as their website stuff, so hit them up for my man, Bo Biddle, who quite possibly could be inside that charging port. I am Ben Barber. We will see you guys in the next video.